We have a new Artsa box that has been sitting in our schoolroom ready to be opened for at least a week now, and we're finally ready to open it. So if you guys wanna see what's in our Artsa box, what we got from Israel, then stay tuned. So this is actually our third box that we've gotten from Artsa. We absolutely love it, absolutely love it. Do we love it, guys? Yeah. Yes. yes, my yeah. kids are all here watching because they are so excited and have been wanting me to open this, but I wanted to show you guys, so they had to wait. So. Uh, if you're new to the Artsa family, this is a super cool box that you get that's got all kinds of things from the Holy Land. And it's all from different businesses around the Holy Land area. And there's anything from, there's food. We've got beauty products, decoration type things. They're all like handmade, hand painted, hand sculpted things from Israel. And that's what's really cool. They're supporting small businesses there. Okay, let's dig into it and see what's inside. I'm so excited. We love it, love, love. Okay, so here is our box. Can everybody see? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see what's inside here. Oh, this is cool. Do they always have this? That's neat. I think before they've had like loose pamphlets that had information, like little brochures, but this time it's like a book. That's really cool. I like how they did that. Um, that's neat how it's all together. So we'll look through that later. So let's see what goodies are inside here. So we've got some, um, it's covered with, what do you call this stuff? Spaghetti? Looks like pasta. Once I get all the spaghetti out, we'll see what's inside. Ooh. We are a pretty adventurous family when it comes to trying food. So we love to try new things. My kids are very brave and, um, yeah, I think you guys try, you'll try anything. Okay. So, so that's one of the most fun things. So let's see. So here's what it looks like. And there's just a bunch of goodies in here. First thing we have roasted in Israel, hyssop roasted cashews. It says crunchy cashew coated with hyssop and olive oil, <coughs> dried hyssop leaves. So it's a leaf. It's a leaf. I don't know. Some sort of spice. That's cool. I love cashews. Those look interesting. Okay. Then we have... Ooh, a red lentil mix. Red lentil with onion, garlic, potato, carrot, and spices. I love that book. And see, this is cool. It says, the flavors of, Is of the Israeli kitchen, blessed shall be your basket. Deuteronomy 28.5. It's got a Bible verse on the top. Can you guys see that? I don't know if it's clear or not. Should we open it and smell it? Lentil spice mix, sourced from a third generation farmer on the shores of the Seas of Galilee. Our lentil spice mix offers a modern Israeli twist on this ancient dish. Ooh, smells really good. But I'll have to, oh, here, smell it. I meant to like, I meant to just show you, but I acted like, hmm. Okay, you guys wanna pass it around and smell it? It smells so good. Well, I'll have to figure out like how to use it because I'm not really sure if it's more of a flavoring or if like lentil is like a bean, so. Oh, this is cool. There's like a, a whole map in here. This is a neat little book. So I figured out what you do with this. So this is actually, I mean, like what it says it is, lentils. But it says you empty the, it's got a whole recipe here. That's my one of my favorite parts is when, you know, we may not be familiar with this and I don't know what to do with it. They give you a recipe, which is really cool. Empty the contents of the red lentil mix package into a pot. Lightly fry the mixture with olive oil and salt to taste. Then you add water to it, let it simmer, cook for 10 minutes, sprinkle with chopped parsley over the lentils. So it's like, a, it's just like a dried lentils. Oh my word. I wish you guys could smell it. Doesn't it smell amazing? Okay, let's see what's next in here. Yeah. Ooh, frankincense and myrrh oil. Frankincense is so expensive. Like when we get essential oils, we never get frankincense because it's expensive. That's amazing. Ooh, anointing oil, frankincense and myrrh. Look at that. How cool is that? Let's smell it. it. Smells good. Let me try it on. Like a little roller. That smells so good. That's so cool. Let's see what else. We have a little package here. This is papyrus paper featuring ancient biblical script immersing uh, subscribers to an, an ancient Hebrew and Aramaic. So let's open this up. This is paper. This is like paper oh this is so cool so look at this can you guys tell it's paper with with hebrew and aramaic written on it let's see how you open it how cool look at that 
and then you open it up and it's got a Bible verse, Job 10, 12. You gave me life and showed me kindness and in your providence watched over my spirit. So this is like handmade paper. That's so cool. Be careful. And there's a whole pack of these. Let's open another one. This one says love. These are neat. They just have such unique things that we don't, wouldn't experience in our everyday life. How cool is that? There's a whole pack of these. Oh, and they're envelopes too. So I guess you could use, I would hate to get rid of these. That is so cool. These are even handmade envelopes. So this would be just a card that you could give to somebody to send to somebody. Isn't that neat? Oh, you got a lot of those? Yeah, so there's, I gave you one. So there's five cards and five envelopes. How neat is that? Okay, there's a tiny little bag. Let's see what's in this bag. Ooh, one of my kids is gonna be so excited about this. Look at that. It's a wax seal with some little wax pieces. My oldest daughter has started this business venture. It's called Blind Date with a Book. And she, do you have one? We could show. She wraps up these books and then has a couple clues on the front, but she has a couple wax seals that she uses to, um, to put on the front of her book. So she would love to have, look at that. It's like three little um, tulips or something. Probably not tulips, I'll have to look. But where's my envelopes? You'd use this to close your envelope. So if you wanted, that's, they made you the whole thing. So you'd write your note on here, close your envelope, and then you use the wax seal. You just melt the wax and then put it on here. That is the coolest thing. I love that. How fun. Have you guys ever used wax seals? They're really cool. That's neat. Wooden wax stamp features a design inspired by ancient coin found in Israel 2,000 years ago, perfect for sealing letters in style. That's super cool. Here's an example of hers. So she has like a book like this. She just puts a couple little clues about what the book's like and she always puts a tea bag on here and then she uses this wax seal to close it. Isn't that neat? So anyway, she we are familiar with the wax seal kind of newly familiar in the last year, but she goes to craft fairs and sells these. So that's that. If you guys are interested in one of those, contact me and send me a message and we can get one sent to you. Okay, let's see what else we have. Ooh, this is big. Like they pack this box full of stuff. We always have so much. It's a pillowcase. Look at that. Hand stamped pillowcase. Do I have it sideways? No. Oh yeah. Probably like that. That's really cool. That's a nice big pillowcase too. Oh, it's five of those and two fishes. And it's got a zipper on the back. Is it? I yeah. think so. Five, oh, five loaves and two fishes. So it's biblical. Good job, Liliana. Thank you. Designed by an Israeli artist, our linen pillowcase captures the essence of the miracle of the fish and loaves in Tavka. Ooh, nice. That's so cool. Hey, it looks like we've got two more things. They always, oh, this is neat. An educational puzzle. That's really cool. A little hand, you know, it's like burned. What do you call it? Wood burned? It's a wooden ark building kit. Construct a replica of the Holy Temple's ark supporting Israel's shoulders with PTSD through organization that produces it. So they make this cutout of the Ark of the Covenant. And it's like a 3D art sculpture, ark sculpture. How cool is that? That's really neat. One more thing. See, there's tons of stuff in here. Okay, the last thing, this is super awesome. Quamran Inkwell, heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. That's so neat. It says this writing kit includes the tools to understand how scribes in biblical times perfected the skills of copying the holy scriptures onto scrolls. This was a cool box this time. Always totally different. So you'll have to, if you haven't seen my other videos, you'll have to go back if you wanna see what else they offer because it's always completely different. This is so neat. So they give you a little card so you can practice writing the ancient Hebrew alphabet. This is so neat. And this is so authentic. Look at that. So that's what they would have put their ink in, this little pot. 
and made that probably out of some sort of reed and you dip that in like that. And then there's like a scroll. How cool is that? This is like the coolest thing we've gotten so far, I think. This is so neat. Very cool. Oh, I love it. This is so perfect for homeschool families. This would be perfect for anybody, but as a homeschool family, being able to experience something like this, I can't just go to Walmart and get something like this. This is so cool. So that's super neat. I'm gonna put it in here so you guys can pass it around. So fun. So that's our box. That was so cool. What did you guys think? Yeah. Wasn't that cool? Yeah. That was such a fun box. So if you guys have never tried the Artsa box, I'm gonna put a link down below. You guys can click on that link and get your own box because I think it is just such a fun, super unique thing. There's all kinds of subscription boxes that you can be a part of. There's tons of different kinds out there, but this is something more meaningful. You're supporting local businesses in the Holy Land. So not only are you supporting local businesses in the Holy Land, but you're also just learning. It's this super cool, like immersive experience where when you can't really actually go to the Holy Land, which I don't know if we'll ever actually have that opportunity, but we get to experience it at home in the comfort of our own home. Check out my other two videos if you haven't seen those before, if you wanna see what other things that we've gotten from Artsa. And if you wanted to get your box, go ahead and grab that in the description box. Thanks for being here. And we're gonna read the rest of this book and check out our stuff and have fun. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.